Homes by Sangobang. Hello everyone and welcome to Homes. Today we are meeting Teich Asselbers in the Netherlands. He is an architect and engineering professor, and he explains to us the double challenge the country is facing in terms of construction, but also the climate. We need uh, in this small country 1 million homes before uh, 2030. Uh, that's the highest production in the Netherlands uh, ever. So uh, there is limited building uh, land uh, here, and uh, it's a crowded country already with uh, high densities uh, in our cities. Uh, Besides that, there is a huge challenge to implement the needed energy transition. Uh, as you know, we have all challenges on uh, energy, new energy solutions that we are looking for. Simultaneously, a nitrogen uh, emission issue that puts limited, limits to uh, industries, agriculture and transportation. And uh, of course, also for the building industry itself, we need to find new solutions for CO2 reduction. We need more uh, prefabrication, uh, you could say, and more modular building. So we need to build not only on the building place itself, but we need to do it uh, in conditional areas and find out uh, how we can do this uh, and to improve these, uh, these systems. The prefabrication and modular building helps us to lower environmental impact. It helps us to make a healthier interior climate, uh, the comfort also for the users of, uh, of buildings. It gives us uh, also better financial uh, insight in the cost of uh, the ownership. Beside that, we like to work, uh, especially uh, looking to the circular uh, solutions that we need to build open uh, to make open design and uh, uh, we need to think more in structures and uh, infill systems. So there must be a separation between the long lasting structure and let's say the, the shorter period that infills in, in uh, for example, housing uh, will add it. Uh, beside that last point is the demountability of materials, the reuse of materials so you can get them out and to uh, use them uh, or upcycle them uh, in all kinds of new uh, designs. Acting as an architect, of course, uh, who often takes the lead in the end in the process, uh, we have to change our attitude uh, also, uh, for example, as designers, but also as engineers. So we need to form one network and need to work in close collaboration on innovation, all these parties, architects, engineers, builders, investors, and so on. And do not forget also the influence of the users themselves, the people who live or work or whatever in these environments, including uh, what we call those days, not only the humans, but also the no humans, let's say using our environment to live in. This is the end of this episode. Thanks to Teich Esselbers for letting us understand the importance of mobilization and collective work in the Netherlands to enter a new era in terms of sustainable construction. And go to other episodes to discover the local issues of homes.